Hello friends, this is Hunter, and welcome back to Let's Play Colonization. I've been looking over the colonies and I've noticed something. Look at Santo Domingo. Over here, in this production list, well, no, not that, that's not a good, that's not the best example. Look over here in Baltimore. We have 50 horses, excuse me, 50 tons of horses. I keep mixing those up. 50 tons of horses, and we don't have a stable here, unfortunately, because Baltimore is just... Baltimore's, uh... Baltimore is a work in progress. All right? But over here, we, in this production summary, shows the sugar we're producing, shows the ore, the wood, the hammers, the rum, and two horses with black X's on them. And I was looking at this, trying to decide what that meant. And I realized something. Horses eat food. The more horses in the colony, the more food those horses are eating. And in Baltimore, we are only producing as much food as we need, and no more. So, if this expert lumberjack were suddenly growing food instead, suddenly, we have two horses here, and we have X's on wood. The X's on the wood mean that we have more tool... We, we have more building production than we have wood to support it. So we're going to run out of wood because we're two wood short. Two tons of wood short is what that means. But the X's are gone from the horses, so I believe that means if we have extra food here, these two horses will be created. Now, of course, I don't want to have my expert lumberjack grow food. Of course not. That's, that's silly. I don't... I'm not doing that. But... Look at that. That farmer can produce four food in hills. But... Clearly... There are horses to be bred. And so, if I go back over here to Santo Domingo, where I'm not actually building anything because there are no tools, I might be ac able to actually turn this place into some sort of horse breeding facility. If I look over here, I start planting food instead of collecting furs, and start planting food here instead of um, making coats out of the furs. You saw how those numbers changed down here. You didn't see it. Take a look at this. I can't really see what's going on here because, well, it's just a mess, but I see a 5 and a 9 here. Now I see a 7 and a 7, and now I see a 1 and a 4. I'm assuming that means there's 162 horses here and then there's 4 that aren't getting enough food. Well. We have that extra food now, so I think horses are going to breed faster in Santo Domingo with, with these changes. And another thing. This guy is going to leave the colony. This... wait. No, he's not. This guy is going to go to the college. Alright? And this guy is going to grow food. Now, I'm only going to have this carpenter growing food temporarily, but I want to train this colonist and this criminal as expert farmers so that they produce more food. And I may end up actually plowing that forest. I haven't really 100% decided on it, but it probably, because then I'll produce more food. Santo Domingo will actually be quite useful. And I've got some cigars and rum here. Where am I going with them? I've taken them from Guadalupe, apparently. One, two, three, four. All right. The French are still all over the place, so nothing, nothing unusual about that. All right, damaged artillery. Now the artillery is out in the open. That's weird. So is the is the <coughs> is whether the sub is whether the subject is fortified determine whether the artillery an open modifier occurs or not 
Yeah, that didn't work, did it? Here, take rum. Hundred horses. Yeah! Thank you. Alright, I've got two artillery here. Who needs two artillery? Or, let me do it this way. Does Guadalupe need two artillery? One, two, three. Yes, Guadalupe needs two artillery. Go to Guadalupe. We need tools over here, so whatever. Alright. Start building that road. Austin has a couple of artillery now. How many artillery does Boston have? One, two, three, four, do I have five artillery in Boston? Really? Already? Boston. One, two, three, four. I only have four in Boston. Well, four is pretty good. I'm not complaining about four. All right. All right. Skip through some free colonists here. I'll fortify these guys. Do I have muskets here? Do I have muskets in Plymouth? No, I don't. Alright. Do what I have to do then. Yeah! Veteran soldiers. One, two. Oops! What did you do there? One, two, three, four, five, and this guy can just walk to Guadalupe for all I care. You go there. Oh, hey, 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 what, 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 excuse me? If you choose ignore, you should save your work in a new file. If you choose close, your application will terminate. Uh, well, I don't want a corrupted saved game, so... Drat. Close. Colonized caused a general projection fault and module colonized our EXE at 0001 colon 4CB0. Choose close. Colonize will close. That's bizarre. Hmm, should I choose close? Or should I not choose close? Colonize will close. Close. Ha <laughs> uh. Alright, well. That was a load of crap. <clears throat> Where was I? Ah, yes. Santo Domingo or something like that. These guys were planting food. You know they were. This guy was um, growing food and I was training these guys to be farmers because they are farmers. They are not c criminals and colonists. And, oh, I don't know. Other stuff happened. One, two, three, four. You know, not that that happens, I mean, I don't even know what happened, I just, I don't even remember what I was doing. I was just doing something, and it, it, the game didn't like it, and boom, crashed. Oh, look, I get something special for reloading the game. whoop de doo Give me a hundred horses. This is going to Guadalupe. This is getting fortified. This guy's building a road. This is getting fortified. Oh my gosh. Honestly. Fast forward through some of this. All right, let's try this again. This time, no crashing. All right, so I have my four Dragoons loaded here, and 
I had a lot of excess dragoons in Guadalupe because I had some horses that I sent to Guadalupe, and I had several soldiers there which I was using in the Siege of Guadalupe way back when. And so now I'm actually going to send them over to Roanoke and Plymouth where I'm having serious problems with the French. I don't want to attack the French. I don't want French colonies. I don't want to deal with them. I didn't ask for them to declare war on me. All I did was demand that they remove themselves from my territory without my paying them for it, for the privilege. So, I mean, I guess they thought that was unreasonable, but whatever the case, the French have got to go. So I'll send them over there. And I have two carpenters here on the road. Where are they going? I don't know. That this this spot right here, this tile right here was supposed to be a road, but I never got around to doing it. <coughs> All right. I just wanted to check Frenchman. Yeah. And there's another there's just carpenters boiling out of Santa Domingo at the moment. Alright, I've got a Dragoon here, and I think I can deal d do without him. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah! Look at that! 75 plus 50% 50 of one. So that's 1 1.75 and plus 50... Per I, I don't know how these... If, if these percentages are just done one after the other or just added together. We really don't know. I wish the... I really wish the game would just tell me what the figures are, but... 1.75 plus 50 percent. That's like three versus six. So, French colonists captured by the Ingle. Soldiers lose veteran status. Yep. They did. How about that? They shouldn't have done whatever it was that they did because they have lost their veteran status. And I have some extra people here. This is probably a bad idea, but I had to do it. And I had two damaged frigates in front of me. Oh my goodness. We have a new lumberjack at Knobscott, and also some muskets. You know what we do with muskets? We make soldiers out of muskets. Some Something. Works, works that way somehow. All right, so the guy at the armory is going to cut wood. The guy at the uh, forest is going to make muskets. And this guy in the schoolhouse is going to go to some other colony where he will uh, cut wood. Quickly. Quickly cut wood. You know, actually, if I had another free colonist here, yes, I do. I could just dump him in there or something. No, 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 don't dump him. Jump, dump him at the lumber mill and train him as a carpenter so that the wood cut and hammers produced are equalized. That would be... that would be good. Alright. Whoa! Population increase in Roanoke. Really? What about all those horses? Come on, make horses. Not So I'm only getting two horses. So according to this, the more horses there are, the more horses are breeding. If there's food enough for them. So, this guy's got to get lumber. George Washington has joined Congress. Excellent. There he is. Looking pretty ridiculous. What is that? Holly? This, this has got to mean something. This twig at his feet. Anyway. Alright. And there's a new gunsmith in Plymouth. Great. Now we're making a lot of guns. 40 guns, 40 tons of muskets per season. That's almost enough to equip someone. And if I actually had three of them there, now it's still not enough. Need to upgrade the magazine. Anyway, next time on Let's Play Colonization, uh, I get all these guys out of the lumber mill, for one thing. And there was something else I was going to do. Uh, what was it? Oh, I don't remember what it was. Well, we'll get more horses. 
Yeah, we'll get our colonies in order. We'll continue building this fortress in Baltimore that just never gets finished. That and more.